Ever wondered where rocks come from or why they look so different? Perhaps you've noticed that some rocks are smooth and round, while others are sharp and jagged. And have you ever thought about why some rocks sparkle while others are dull? Well, my friends, there's a fascinating process behind all these rock varieties and it's called the rock cycle. You see, rocks don't just magically appear out of nowhere. They're born, they live, and they even change. Yes, rocks have a life story too, and it's a story that spans millions of years. This constant process of change from one type of rock to another and back again is what we call the rock cycle. It's a cycle as old as our planet itself, and it's happening right beneath our feet. So how does this magical rock transformation happen? Let's unfold this mystery together. Imagine a volcano erupting with hot molten rock called magma. Now what happens next is quite amazing. Just like a lump of cookie dough in your oven, this magma starts to cool down and harden. But unlike your cookies, this happens over a much, much longer time. Think of it as the slowest baking process ever. Over years, maybe even centuries, the magma cools down underneath the Earth's surface. As it cools, it starts to harden, forming a solid substance we call rock. Now this isn't just any rock, this is a special kind of rock known as igneous rock. The word igneous comes from the Latin word ignis, which means fire. So, in a way, these rocks are like fire-made cookies baked in the Earth's oven. And voila, we have our first type of rock, the igneous rock. But the journey doesn't end here. What happens when our igneous rock is exposed to weather, wind, and water over time? Imagine our igneous rock embarking on a long journey, like a brave adventurer exploring new territories. As it travels, the rock gets tumbled around and tiny bits of it get chipped off. This is much like how a backpacker might lose some items along their journey. This process, my friends, is called erosion. Now, picture these tiny bits and pieces settling down after their wild ride. They pile up, layer upon layer, just like a stack of pancakes that you might have for breakfast. This settling down is known as sedimentation. Over time, these layers get squashed together, and voila, our rough-and-tumble adventurer has transformed into a brand new kind of rock, a sedimentary rock. So after a long journey and a makeover, our rock has changed into a sedimentary rock. Quite an adventure, isn't it? Now let's take our sedimentary rock and bury it deep under the ground. Imagine, if you will, that we are tucking it in for a long, long nap. But this isn't a peaceful slumber, oh no, this is more like a sleepover at a pressure cooker's house. You see, deep within the earth, it's hot, and I mean really hot. So hot, in fact, that if you were to take a marshmallow down there, it would roast faster than you can say s'more. And it's not just the heat that our rock has to face, but a whole lot of pressure too. Think of squeezing a sponge. With a gentle squeeze, the water oozes out and the sponge changes shape. Now, imagine squeezing so hard that the sponge changes completely. That's what happens to our sedimentary rock. The heat and pressure squeeze it, changing its form, texture, and even its mineral content. And with that squeeze, our sedimentary rock has turned into a shiny new metamorphic rock. Guess what? These shiny metamorphic rocks can turn back into magma. And so, the cycle continues. It's like a never-ending rock party. Our planet's crust is a bustling dance floor where rocks are constantly being formed, altered, melted down, and reformed again. Now let's bring this rockin' cycle to life with a fun hands-on project you can do at home. Imagine your favorite crayons are these dynamic rocks. First, you can shred some crayons to represent weathered sedimentary rocks. Then with a bit of heat from a hairdryer, watch as they melt and merge, just like metamorphic rocks under intense heat and pressure. And if you heat them a little more, that's right, they liquefy into magma. Once cooled, you'll have a colorful representation of igneous rocks. This simple project helps to visualize the fascinating journey that rocks embark on over millions of years, right under our feet. So there you have it, the amazing journey of a rock. Remember, every rock you see has a story to tell. Can you guess what it might be?